This video is on how to calculate sample variance and standard deviation using Excel. So the first step is to calculate the sum of x. So we're going to use that using the auto sum formula of b2 through b7. Now we're going to calculate the average or m using the average formula in Excel. Now we're making a column representing x minus m to calculate each deviation score. This is done by subtracting each x value by the average. And now I'm just going down the column and doing this for each of our x values. Now I'm reducing the amount of decimal places using the home decimal function to two. And now we're going to calculate the sum of the deviation scores to check our work. And these, this should add up to zero or a number that's very close to it. Next, we're creating a column for the squared deviation scores. We're doing this by typing in equals C2 times C2, which is in our X minus the average column and we can click and drag that down to copy the formula and reducing the amount of decimal places. Next, we're going to find the sum of the squared deviation scores, which is our SS. We're gonna do, do that using the sum formula for D2 through D7. Now we finally have enough information to calculate our sample variance. And this is equals our SS divided by N, which would have been D9 divided by 6. Now we can calculate the standard deviation of our sample by taking the square root of our variance by typing equal square root of G3. We can also find variance and standard deviation using Excel formulas. So to find the variance, the formula is equals VAR dot s and then we're going to highlight our data set our x's and that calculates the variance to find the st standard deviation is similar the formula is equals stdev dot s and highlight our data set and that's how to calculate the variance and standard deviation of a sample